to our beloved principal, Sir Osmond Dolores Mejo, to our head teacher, Dr. Perlita Gaitan, to our master teacher, Ma'am Anna Jean A. Ferrer, to our guests, to our dignitaries, to the faculty members, proud parents, and to my fellow completers. A pleasant morning to us all. First and foremost, before I begin my speech, I would like to thank my mom, my Lola, and my little sister who are with me today to celebrate this huge achievement. Especially to my mom, the most beautiful and strong woman I know, who can only hear me through her phone because she's working abroad. Perhaps some of you may not know, but my mom is a single parent. After my pa father passed away, she stayed strong and sacrificed her own life for us to experience every pleasure and joy. Ma, Ma if you can hear this, Know that every achievement, every milestone, every awards, and every every success that I receive is all dedicated for you. You are and always will be my biggest inspiration to keep going in life. Even though sometimes we have some misunderstandings, always remember that I will love you no matter what. When I first entered Buckhill National High School again, 10 months ago, I remember feeling anxious. Because I was afraid of the challenges that, that awaits me. I was scared because I don't know what might happen to me since we all know that two years of our high school life have been deprived to us. However, looking back at my past self 10 months ago and comparing it to me now, I realized that I have grown so much. I met new people, new friends, and made some new enemies. I experienced new things faced some of my fears and overcame obstacles because of the people that are there with me. Today, I couldn't be more happier because finally, I can enjoy the outcome of my hard work. But before all of this happened, I have to go through a lot. And let me tell you, it wasn't that easy. Earlier this month, a random TikTok video popped up in my For You page. It was said on that video, with our generation today, being a student is very tough, and I agree. If you're going to ask me, what is so hard about being a student? Well, my answer is the pressure. The constant pressure that is being instilled on students to perform better on their studies. The kind of pressure where everyone expects you to do so well. I can still recall the times when I had to attend school with only a few hours of rest. I have to sacrifice my own sleep for me to accomplish all my schoolwork. I experienced numerous mental breakdowns and sleepless nights. I went through all of that just because I was scared of the judgment. I was scared of the judgment of other people once I failed. I was terrified of the looks and disappointed face of others once I became a failure to them. But as of the moment, I couldn't be more proud of myself. This award is a testimony that my hard work had finally paid off. However, I couldn't have gained this achievement if it weren't for the people that helped me to get to, the to, the to get to the place where I am today. Therefore, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone who gave me support when I needed it most. Thank you to the people that helped me to get through the times where I was at my lowest. It had been a great roller coaster ride. As I woke up earlier this morning, I told myself that I got this and promised myself not to cry. Because I'm absolutely certain that my friends will make fun of me once I did. To my friends and classmates, I know that next school year there's a possibility that some of us may not see each other anymore. So I would like to take this moment to thank you all individually. Aris Paspa, Eunice Perez, Lira Diesel, Nikai Lumawi, Janelle Galindo, Leah Petines, Gisela Ramos, Jane May Sorben, Sam Paulus, Marian Rumbawa, Wilmar De Jesus, and many more. At the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you because you guys made me feel safe, happy, and sad all throughout the school year. I'm grateful for your consistent support of me. You guys never fail to make me laugh and make my day. Those pictures and videos of us will surely stay in my gallery. I will forever cherish all the laugh, smiles, miserable and blissful moments we have together. Despite of all the arguments and all the grudge we have for each other, 
Tatan niyong mahal na mahal ko pa rin kayo lahat. And also to our advisor, Ma'am Mary Beth, and to our practice teacher, Ma'am Saini, thank you. Thank you for all the learnings that you have given us. Both of you are one of my motivations to continue working hard on my studies. Especially to Ma'am Mary Beth. You are the most wonderful advisor I have ever known. I have ever known. He taught us patience, kindness, and bravery. You supported us on every passion and everything that we wanted to do. Or whether it was a contest or an activity. That's why I would never stop updating you. You help us to be the best version of, our, of ourselves and shape us into the people we are today. Mahal na mahal namin kayo. And to my alma mater, Don Fall National High School, thank you so much. Words cannot express, express how much gratitude and respect I have for you. You gave me priceless memories that are truly unforgettable. Because of you, I did the things I thought I would never do. I learned to be more independent and gain more strength. You serve as a light and hope to every student. I am grateful that I get to open my eyes, enter those great gates, and realize that I go to such an amazing and wonderful school. You truly are a biyaya sa mga kapataan. I wish for your more success and prosperity. To my, to my fellow completers, know that this is not the end, rather the mark of something new. We have so much more to look forward to. Remember that your feelings are valid, and I want each and every one of you to be proud of everything you've achieved. Even though to some people, that achievement means nothing. Always put it in your mind that you're good enough, and that's okay. Don't let yourself be eaten by the pressure that other people are putting on you. As Preach Lee once said on his graduation speech, Let it be said that I'm good at math, but I'm not a math wizard. I'm good at English, but I'm not a literature person. And I'm good at drawing, but I'm not Picasso. I've always got to the thought, when will I ever be perfectly boxed into a certain archetype? When will I ever belong? The truth is, you only ever truly belong to yourself. And that means today, we are only good enough at math, or good enough at English, or good enough at drawing, then that's us. Good enough. Congratulations to us all. Thank you.